Are you still developing mods or custom stories for a game that's over 10 years old? And are you tired of using the same old paintings that's in the main game? And using simple planes to cover up the already made paintings in the level editor just turns out crappy? Well, then this video is for you. Stick around and I will show you how you make your own custom paintings. Alright, before we get into it, there are some things that we will need. The first off is of course an image, and I've chosen this one. This is a AI generated Nicolas Cage in a tuxedo, I used Mid Journey to make this. Then we're of course gonna use Notepad++ which is a really good text editor. Please don't use Notepad, get this, it's free, just download it, install it and you're done. And we're gonna use a software called Paint.net which is a image editor. It is free so you can download it from this site or if you want you can also buy it for like $10 from the Microsoft Store. I would prefer using Photoshop, but since Photoshop doesn't support DDS file formats, we're gonna use this one, which supports it. Okay, first we're gonna head into the root folder of Amnesia. Right click, go to manage, browse, local files. Then we can go ahead and open up the level editor. And here we're going to find a existing painting frame that we're gonna use for our own painting. So in the regular Amnesia files, we find them in Ornament, and here we go. One I like to use is the Painting 02, which has a portrait style. Remember the name Painting 02, and remember this image with, I guess, Jesus and his buddies getting crucified. Ah, poor Jesus. Died so we could make custom stories. And now, when we're in the root folder, we're gonna open up Entities, and in here, we are going to create a new folder. To make things really easy, we're gonna just name it my underscore paintings. And I highly recommend you to right click and open in a new window. And then what you can do is you can take your image and you can copy it and paste it right in there. Now we're going to find that painting frame and copy over everything that we require. And we will find it in ornament and then paintings and here it is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy it and paste it in the folder we made not only are we gonna require this we're also gonna require some frame files and some image files so since the name is painting 02 we're going to need all the files which has 02 in the name so as you see here we have painting underscore frame 0204 that just means that it's using the same frame files for paintings 2, 3, and 4. If you would do three custom paintings using that frame, you, you would copy all three folders. But we're only going to do one now, so we only need to copy 02 and then all of the frame files. And also the image files, but let's begin with this. So 02 down there, copy those and paste them in our own folder. And then we're gonna look down to the image ones, painting image 0204. See, we have four files here, but two of those are called insane. And those are for like the scary, um, insanity draining images. And we're not gonna make those today. So we're only gonna need the two above, the DDS file and the material file. So select those, copy and paste them in our own folder. And now the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to take this folder and we're going to rename this to my underscore painting 02. And then we're going to do the same thing to all of these files. These two files, the image material file and the image DDS file, we can actually leave those as they are because we are basically going to make our own versions of them and save them as new files with the correct name. So now let's go into the root folder and open up the material editor. And here we're going to open the painting image 0204 material file. So file, and then we find our folder, my paintings. 
and then we're gonna open up this painting image 0204 material so here is basically the cube with the three painting images and as we remembered we're gonna edit this one right here with jesus getting crucified now we have to edit this image but we can't do it inside here with this we're gonna use the software paint.net which i mentioned before So first thing first, let's go to our folder and then we're going to bring out the image DDS file and simply drag it out here and open. And then we're also going to need our own image that we're going to add onto this. So go back here and then I grab my Nicolas Cage painting, drag it out and then add a layer. There we go. And now we basically have to make him fit onto this rectangle here and sure we could do this but then he becomes stretched and ugly and i don't want that so Control z to undo and we're gonna do some simple cutting instead place him roughly in the center right there then we're gonna hold shift and drag this top edge right here something like that oops okay sometime this will happen which is weird just undo and redo. And now we're gonna go up to the left here and we're gonna click rectangle select. And now we're gonna deselect Nicolas Cage, but we're still gonna be on that layer. With the rectangle select, make a selection like that. And then let's bring him back. And we need to invert the selection because when we're gonna cut it later, we don't want to cut out the selection we have here. So we're actually gonna invert it to make it select everything else. So invert, and now we can go back to edit and cut. And don't worry about the edges being like not pixel perfect because the frame is gonna cover up some of it. And now we're gonna go to file, and now we're gonna save this, and we're in our folder, and we're gonna save this as a DDS. And then the name is gonna be my underscore painting image 0204 and save. Okay, and flatten. It's saved now, but if you last second you wanna make some adjustments to whatever layer, then you can just press Ctrl Z to undo and you will bring it back as a layer. But now we are done in this software. And now we go back into this material editor. We're gonna, on the diffuse tab right here, we're gonna click these three dots here. And there it is. Here is our new DDS file that we created. Press it, and there we go. Now we need to save this. File, save. And now, of course, we're gonna name it my underscore painting image 0204 material. Save. And now we've made a DDS file and a material file with the correct names. So these two old ones, we can select them and delete them. Perfect. Everything is correctly named and we have all the files we need. So now let's open this folder and here we have three files and we need to edit two of them. The third one, which is a mesh file, we can actually delete this because when we save and make new DAE and ENT files, we will actually make one automatically when we open the model editor or level editor. So this mesh file can go. And now let's open up the DAE with Notepad++ of course. And yes, first sight, this might look so overwhelming. Like there is so much text. But all of this you don't have to care about. The only lines we're gonna care about is this, 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 and this. What these lines is, is basically telling the DAE file what DDS files it's gonna use. And we want it to use the DDS files we made or changed. So we have three frame DDS files that we have to edit. And then of course the image DDS which we made. So we press just in front of painting here and we add my underscore painting. And the same thing with this one my underscore painting same one here my underscore painting and then the image file same thing my underscore painting and now we need to actually add in the correct path where our files is in 
and everything is basically located in uh, as we see up here it's entities and then my paintings and then my painting 02 what we can do is we can take these paintings and just in front of it we add of course my underscore and we do the same thing with all the others and now for the path we can delete ornament but we're gonna keep entities and then we can go at the end of readist and just delete all the way back to there so file and then the two dots and then entities my paintings my paintings frame 0204 dds and do the same thing with these ones Right, and that's it. That wasn't too hard. Now let's double check the names here. Ah, oh, here we go. We have an error. I've accidentally wrote two Y's. It should only be one. And now, file. And we're gonna save this. And of course, we're gonna name it my underscore painting 2 dae and now we're gonna open up the ENT with Notepad++. And here we're gonna do a similar thing. Locate the mesh file name. If things are a little hard to read, then you can go to language and select C++. So mesh file name. Here we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add my underscore, my underscore, my underscore, and then ornament we can remove and then go here and remove all the way there so now it's basically telling the entity that it's gonna use the dae file located in my painting 02 inside my paintings folder inside entities that's all it's gonna need and now we save this as we did before, my underscore painting 02.ent, but make sure to press all types. Now we have our own DAE file and our ENT file. So these two old ones, we can simply delete them. And now what's left to do is to see if this actually worked. So we're gonna open up a model editor inside the root folder. And then we're gonna again open up this new painting. So we go to entities and then find our folder, my paintings, and then the entity file. Our lovely Nicolas Cage painting right there. And as we can see here in our folder, it generated the mesh file with the correct name and everything. So now you can simply save and we can exit out from the model editor. And now we're inside the level editor. Same thing, go to entities. Let's find our folder, my painting. And there we go. It's now its own entity and you can do what you want with it. You can place it, you can stretch it, do whatever you want with it. It's there, you've done it. Well done. Now you know how to make your own custom paintings for your custom story or mod so you don't have to rely on the same old paintings used in the regular Amnesia games. Go ham, see what you can come up with and thank you so much for watching.